and welcome back to Let's Play Boktai. Well, final episode, hopefully, probably. Time for the final- oh wow, that's a lot of chloroform. Out of my way. Say hello to Queen Hell. Oh yeah, we kind of shot him a bunch. So she's a vampire. Technic okay, yeah, mortals aren't really vampires, but still. Also, making a giant room of glass seems like a horrible idea in space. Okay, to be fair, he tried to kill me. First. Yes. Well, they were trying to kill me. Of course I had to kill them. Yeah, this is about apparently human humanity spreading across the cosmos. It's a sci-fi story. See? Evolution is evil. You know, the sun is only one star in the entire universe, right? There are like a couple of million stars in our own galaxy. Also, I think that's a misspelling. Anyways, time for the final battle against hell. This battle is a bit different. Basically, we need to protect Jang- or not Django. We have to protect Otanko until he can summon all the pile drivers. Attacking him won't actually do anything. Instead, we basically need to do this. We need to shoot all of the dark energy away from him. Actually, a spray, light, or a spray frame would work better. Uh, this should work. Ow. No, get away from him. Oh crap, how's my battery so low? Let's screw it. Uh, let's see. Rising Sun. Come on. Alright. I need more sunlight, actually. I also need to stop wasting su Rising Sun grenades. Crap, come on. Summon up that pile driver. Any second now. Oh crap, nope. Do not hit me. And now we basically just have to avoid attacks while waiting for him to summon that stupid pile driver. We need the generators. Come on. There we go. One's up. Oh, no, no you don't. Let's get all that darkness away from him. Also, there is a time limit for this battle. If you don't finish fast enough, it's automatic game over. It's a pretty generous uh, time limit though. Also, hitting her doesn't actually do anything. We can't actually kill her without the generators. Come on, summon faster. I'm gonna shoot you until you summon. I am taking way too much punishment here. Come on. Crap, no, get away from it. Stay away from him. All right, darkness is gone. And now she is summoning meteors on us. I need an apple. And a speed nut would help. Oh, nope. She's gonna try petrify us. She basically has all the attacks the other bosses did. Which kind of makes sense considering she's their boss. Come on, summon faster. Alright, give me a second. I'll clean you up in a second. Gotta make sure I have plenty of gun energy, though. Oh, and we shouldn't walk into her. Come on. 
All right, he's safe. Also, she has tentacles for arms. Not sure why, and shoots ice out of her feet. All right, three down. We just need one more. Ow. Yeah, we have 99 seconds. I know. We should win this. We're going to win this. We'll be fine. As long as she doesn't keep doing that. Come on. Get up and summon. We don't have time for you to take a nap. It's okay. We should be fine any second now. Any second now. We have 70 seconds. Hurry up. There we go. I see. So basically, we stand here. Whoops. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Oh, crap. It didn't go off. Okay, we have 16 seconds. We can do this. And fire. That didn't work in the slightest. Don't look very good. And now we're friends. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but okay. I don't think there was a wild east, but anyways. Time for the real final stage of the battle. I actually want, not Spear, uh, Gradius. Basically, ow, don't let go of me. I need food. But now we have Sabata working next to us. He can pretty much do whatever we can. What we want to do is basically destroy the hands first. Ow. He's actually pretty useful for once. Also, don't try to use Riding Sun Grenades here. They don't really work very well. Careful. Ow. Come on. Well, at least that's to blow up eventually. I can't even see where I am. Oh, I'm down there. But yeah, we want to blow up these hands. Oh, crap. No, you let go of him. Basically, if she, he gets grabbed, just shoot the hands that's holding him. He'll do the same for you. We really are brothers. Oh crap, he's gonna, she's gonna try to grab me. Come on. Well, he just has to explode eventually. I think there's also a time limit for this battle. There's a reason I want to get rid of the hands first. Just because it next, makes the next part of the battle a bit more easy. Ow. Come on. You want... One of these has to blow up eventually. Nope, do not grab me. Grabbing me is bad. Also, if you go in the center, you can do this. But this is why we need to blow up the hands first. We can't actually charge up the Wild Bunch attack because she's going to keep interrupting us. And now we're charging together. Just like real brothers. Also, every once in a while he just randomly gets tired. I'm still not sure why. Actually, you know what? I've never tried... Oh, uh, one second. I'm just gonna use solar nuts now. There's no point in saving them. I just shove like 50 melons into my gun. But anyways, I've never used bombs before. What if these work? Alright, one hand's down. Careful. Let's try to take out this one next. Come on. Please die for me. Ah, oh, crap. Nope. Let go of me. 
All right, that's two hands down. Careful. No, no, you let go of me. She will keep trying to grab you. It's really annoying. And really, really rude. No way for a queen to act, lady. All right, one more hand. All right, that's pretty good. Get to the center. Charge up. And fire. And we can actually damage to her. And of course her hands come back. Actually, I think spear would work better here. Also, I need more sunlight. I am tempted to to uh, max out my sunlight, not that uh, sun gauge. But you know what? No, I don't fly risk overheating. Not now, of all times. Ow! I need more red apples. Come on! Oh crap! She's gonna try to grab me. Don't let go of me. That kind of hurts. Oh, she might go me really quickly there. Yeah, this is working a lot better. Come on. Alright, that's two hands down. Oh, no, you don't. Let go of him. Him. Call her, him or her for a second there. Come on. Ow. Just a little more. Okay, there's only one hand left. If we can get rid of this one, we can shoot another shot at her. Stop shooting her face, Sabatas. So That's not helping. That barely does any damage to her. Wait for it. And fire. Alright, two more of those and we should have this in the bag. And I have plenty of... Ow. Let go of me, please. I think with the spear lines, we don't really have to worry about, uh, what is it? Having to charge up our battery as much. Nope, let go of me. Let go. Stop eating me. I really don't enjoy being eaten. Just saying. Come on. One of you has to die eventually. Hopefully it's not me. Alright, one hand's dead. This one should die pretty soon. Also, don't actually run into her. It actually does kind of hurt. Alright, that hand's down. Hey, no, let go of me. You stay away from me. That is bad touch. I do not appreciate bad touch. Alright, wait for it. Oh, Tango, is it really necessary to pivot like that? You're just making things harder on us. Just aim forward. Although, although she is starting to move now. And she's a lot more aggressive with her hands. Yep, there she goes. She's starting to shift positions. That's gonna make the final shot a bit annoying. Careful. Oh, no, do not hit me. Hitting is bad. Please don't do it. Alright, that's one hand down. Yeah, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. I like this about about battle a lot better than this, just because it was at least tricky. This one, it feels a bit too simple. Oh, nope, don't get hit by that. I need more sunlight. I wonder what happens when she grabs us both at the same time. Never, oh crap, she respawned a hand. That happens if you let her eat you too many times. Or if you take too long. Or if you need more apples. Come on. Okay, two hands down. And that's the last of my bombs. But it doesn't matter, there's only one hand left. Come on. Sabat, where are you? Start helping me. Thank you. Alright, one more. Wait for it. Wait for it. And launch. Alright, one more shot to do it. 
Oh crap, she's gonna grab me. Hey, no, you let go of him. That is rude. Please do not eat my friends. And family members. Who in this case are doing the same thing. You know what? I'm gonna have a banana. Because for some reason, bananas make my gun better. Not really sure how, but they do. Also, I'm gonna have an apple. Because I have 18 golden apples. And that is more than enough. Ow. Come on. These hands have got to die eventually. Oh crap, don't let go of me, let go of me. Come on, this hand should die pretty soon too. And then we'll have this battle pretty much won. Oh crap, no, I can't use an apple right now. All right, let's do this. This should finish her off. And we beat hell. We're trying to save her, weren't we? Aww. We never really did see Moon Beauty, did we? Wait, what? Aww, Otango's gonna go away! Again. It doesn't really work the second time, you know. Just saying. He kinda just got resurrected like 10 minutes ago. Hell yeah, we're doing something! Yeah, basically you can lose this section if you don't charge fast enough. Also, if you don't have sunlight hitting the center. You kind of get a bad ending. But Otenko came back to life. Again. Also, Jango was voiced by a lady. And so was Sapata. I don't know why they were voiced by ladies. In fact, I think most of the voice, quote, voice actors in this game were ladies. So yeah, that was Boktai. It wasn't as fun as I remembered it being, but it was still a pretty fun game. And of course, it was made by Hideo Kojima. Because only he would think of a game where you have to use sunlight to play it. But let's just let the credits roll. Oh hi golems, you were annoying. So were you ice golems. And rock golems. Oh god, I hate the cockatrices. And the red ones, they're pretty much the same thing. There were also purple ones. And now they're just showing us all of the... All of the weapons in the game, all of the enemies in the game. Because they were really proud of the animations, apparently. Why does the name Scott Dolph sound so familiar? I know I've heard that somewhere before. Oh well, whatever. Konami of America. All of the people who work there. Spires, who we didn't really see that much during the game. Actually, we didn't really see that many spiders, now that I think about it. We saw plenty of Krakens. 
They were annoying. Also, half of her body is missing. You glitched out in the final area. I know we never saw you. And now we run out of sprites to show. So, made by Konami. They haven't made a lot of games lately. Not a lot of good games. Oh, right, we forgot to go back to the Soul Tree. Ever. That fruit has probably gone bad by now. Welcome back. And we get the final result of the game. Not bad. I missed a few dungeons. I got a ton of energy though. And I got alerted a lot. But it doesn't matter. And we get a new lens. And an em emblem. And a password that you could put in the website earlier, but pretty sure that's down at this point. And we'll save. So then, that was Boktai. And then the ROM crash. 